You know where you are. This is Nollywood Pictures TV. like someone that has seen a ghost. I'm crying. I just woke up. I... Are you going anywhere? No. I was actually looking for you. We need to talk. Listen, Victoria, if it's about the crown, I'm not ready to talk about that. If I, why not tell us why you're rejecting the crown? I just told you that if this is about the crown, I will not talk about it. Not now, not tomorrow, not ever. But Father prepared you for this. At least why don't you just tell us why you will not take the crown? Let us. The ways of the gods are wise, ah, but you may not understand. Eboyoko. And what could be bothering you, my queen? My love, you're back already. Why are you sitting here all alone? What could be bothering you? My love, why do you want to be king? My queen, it wasn't my decision to be king. Prince Ifanye allows me to take the crown. Wait, my darling. Don't tell me you've occupied your thoughts with the thought. Oh yes, I have already. Since Sandra wouldn't allow me rest in this compound. She practically believes we're a stumbling block to them ascending the throne. Sandra? She said this to you? Where are you going to? Sit first. Listen, I, I didn't tell you to go confront her. Okay? By all means, you have to reject the crown. It's for our own good. Please, my love, you have to. Please. Can you please get him another glass of juice, please? When you have the urge to take what is not yours, just stay away and know that yours is on the way. Everything that works, works for a purpose. There's no need to reconstruct your destiny. Iana Junike, Iana Nike. Have you been? You left the house rather too early. Is everything all right? Everything is perfectly fine, Your Majesty. I see. Take a walk with me. Oh, 
possibly ask me to do that. For in truth, I know full well that some couple of persons in this palace have been pressurizing my husband to cede the crown to James. But I am sticking with him. Sandra, you know quite well that your opinion does not count in this Amikula kingdom. Therefore, don't cause trouble. Because I still value the peace and tranquility I enjoy in this palace. Then advise your son. Advise James to stay away from the crown. Because you don't expect me to sit back and watch you people take what rightfully belongs to my husband. It will not happen. Sandra, but nobody's pressurizing him to do anything. But your body language says otherwise. Queen Mother, it does. The truth is that my husband is going to be the king of this kingdom and that's final. Sandra! You cannot make decisions for my son. He is a full-fledged man who knows his left from his right. Therefore, he has the prerogative to either take the throne or cede it to his brother. Excuse me. Welcome to this all important meeting. Hmm. The essence of this meeting is for us to decide who finally becomes the next king of Amekulu Kingdom. Precify. Hello. According to our tradition, with respect to kingship, when the king dies, the eldest son takes over from him as king. Is it not so? Yes, yes. yes. You are in order. Yes. Oh no. Mm. Now, are you telling us that you are rejecting the crown? Yes or no, I do not want the crown. And I don't know why I am being pressured to take up kingship. Be careful. Be careful, my prince. What you, what you wish for is an abomination for a crown prince to sit the throne while he's still alive, hail and hate him. What is an abomination, Ichi? Presidents and governors resign when they are done or when they don't want to be on seat. And nobody does anything about it. There's always room for substitution. Okay, what if I was dead? or incapacitated, wouldn't you all look for someone else to take up kingship? If I, you're healthy and strong, why are you trying to dodge your responsibility? I am not dodging my responsibility. You are my prince. I remember your father placed so much confidence in you and proudly reminds us of a worthy king that you are going to be in the future. So why? If I, the future is now. Please do not turn down the crown. People would think otherwise. My elders, I reiterate my position that I do not want to be king. Abomination. Nonetheless, I am willing to offer my full support to whosoever wants to take up kingship. That's my final word on this. I 
am ready to take the crown. James, if I do not believe the story you told me, I cannot be alive and watch the kinship move to another family. DJ, I am ready, body and soul, to succeed my father. James! Well, my elders, now that he has agreed to bail us out, we have to commence the ritual. Of course. You agree with me? Yes, you know. I'm an ogre. Thank you, my son. It is time for us to fulfill the requirements of our customs and traditions. We were all witnesses to the fact that Prince Ifai Akajofo decided to cede the crown to his younger brother, Prince James. Yes. Am I correct? Yes. Correct. Great. Now it is time for Prisifai to formally hand over the offer to his younger brother James in line with our custom of seeding the crown. Prisifai. Are you sure you want to do this? Yes, I'm sure. The main thing is that the Akajo for dynasty must be maintained. I want to thank all of you for the confidence you repose in me. I look forward to your guide and advice. My price <laughs> <laughs> Good afternoon, my dear. Good afternoon, my queen. Are you mad? Yeah. What is wrong with you? Why are you such in a hurry? What seems to be the problem? My queen, I just want to go and rush and give the queen a very good news. And what is that, if I may ask? Please, there's no time for me. Maybe just Russia give her this good news. Is something wrong with you? You seem to have forgotten who is standing right in front of you. I have not forgotten. I have not forgotten. See? I don't know why you are trying to pour your anger on me. Because I just want to go and give the queen 8 o'clock news. I asked a question. And I demand an answer after me. Please, you will not like this good news. It might be good news for all of us, but to you, it might be a bad news. Allow me to go and give this news. I command you to speak! Mm. Stop being a clown! My queen, Prince James has just been confirmed as the Prince of Amin Blue Kingdom. He has accepted to be the king. So I am rushing to give the queen the good news. Gang, 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 gang. Is that not the good news?
Don't live a selfish life Don't say I didn't want you Make it bank Where I better go really It's your canana and I put it in the sea Kedo kenye no zinu no Ewewe A green snake will always hide beside the green grass. Finally, your lobbying has paved way for you. You have now been confirmed king, right? Excuse me. You are well excused. What are you trying to... What are you insinuating? I am not insinuating anything. I am just waiting patiently to look into the face of that tricky brother who has finally succeeded in taking what rightfully belongs to his own brother. Yeah, Sandra. I don't know how I've been feeding you those trash in your brain. But I want you to understand that my brother gave me his support to be king. Oh, please tell that to the birds. You think I don't know the truth? I know everything. You and that useless thing you call a wife. Charmed my beloved husband in order to give up the crown for you, right? Silence! You cannot silence me. I am not your subject. Stupid. Water. What is it meant for? See, my, my princess, I, I saw the way you have been angry since they declared uh, Prince James to be the king. In fact, the kind of hotness inside you even made God to think if he should change his location of uh, hellfire and bring it to you. So I decided to bring this co worker. See what I do with Afam, have you lost your sanity? Mm -mm. If I have lost my sanity, I will not remember to bring cold water when you are you, you, you are very, very angry. You will like it, man. You are very stupid. And get out of my sight. Get out! What impudence! You see, my darling, the God knows who the crown fits. Though I know the burden that comes wearing this crown, I know I'm going to be a very good king, and my people will love me. My love, why are you silent? Aren't you happy you're going to be the next queen? Baby, let me be honest with you. I really do not know how I feel about this whole thing. Okay? Sandra is beginning to behave in a creepy way, like. Thanks. Something about her. I think she's very desperate. Oh, you know what, my darling? She's not important. Don't worry about her. The only support I need is from you, my love, and that of my brother and my mother. She's not important. You know what? You just have to go and get yourself prepared because the coronation committee will be here anytime soon. 
Oh, really? Yeah. So, would you want me to ask the cook to prepare some dish? Oh, <laughs> that's so sweet, my love. Thank you. <laughs> Come here. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> Alright, I'll be right back. Alright, baby. I can't wait to be king. I can't wait to rule this kingdom. I know my people will love me and respect me. <laughs> Entertainment because people coming from far and near must be entertained. Oh, yes But that is the women's <coughs> responsibility And in fact, you know Did you finally get in touch with the women leader yesterday? For there is no time again for us We have barely few days to the coronation. Oh, yes As a matter of fact, she was here this morning and uh, from our discussion she knows exactly what to do. But my only worry eh, is that um, some of our kindreds, they are here to redeem their pledges. So that, that is my worry. Um, we have nothing to worry about. Mm. We make use of our resources at hand. The main thing is to crown our king and we move forward. It's good, you know. It's good, you know. I think you have a point. Yes. Let's make use of See, don't worry. I, 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 I know that very well. When I become the king in future, I will choose from three of you who will be my wife. Ah, guys are your attires for the big day i mean the coronation day you are expected to wear them on that special day did you get me yes sir okay so you thank you thank you I suggest you all go inside and try them out first in case if there's any amendments. You can now go. Okay, I'm going to My lady, the late king said that I should always wear jumper and trousers to differentiate me from ordinary palace lady and ordinary palace guard. Hello. You heard what Victoria said, mm. didn't you? Mm. Go inside and do as she said. Not here. Later. In your room. Okay. Okay, guys. You heard me right. You are expected to wear this on this special day. Okay? Okay, princess. And so, you can go now. Thank you, Thank you princess. princess. My princess, if I should just suggest, I don't actually like this color. I am the one behind the colors. So I can find it as a rope. Can this young man for once do the right thing? What the hell is wrong with you? So we just try to regularize it. So that we don't have to. James! James! What is it? James! 
So real. You had another frightening nightmare. That is why you will not allow me to sleep this night. Is that all you have to say? What else do you want me to say? It is just a nightmare. You don't have to brood over it. Please, allow me sleep. take something that rightfully belongs to us. It's not done. Sandra, why are you this ambitious? Why are you so obsessed with becoming queen or me becoming king? I have been inundated with stories about how you almost fought Lizzie and my late brother because of this same crown. Lizzie is desperate. You are the one who is desperate! And you make everybody think I'm in support of your, of your shenanigans. I should have just sent you away to London when I had the opportunity so we can have peace in this house. What is wrong with you? What will I ever do in this life to please you? What? I mean, this is a very great opportunity for you to become a first class king. Meeting with top government functionaries. Even helping our family's business. But here you are saying all sorts. What is wrong with you? Oh! You know what, Sandra? Oh. 